Floss the Boss. What's up with it? Hey, it's KVB Productions. Um, can I ask you some questions? I've seen a lot of stuff going on on the internet now <laughs> about the finesse two-time disc. Can you tell me a little bit about that? What's going on? Man, for one, everybody getting it all fucked up because I ain't got no beef with a nigga. Because if I had beef with him, we going to handle it like two gangsters supposed to handle it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure he, he ain't trying to go there with me. My only thing was I didn't appreciate what he did to Big Chief far as Big Chief being a legend in Dallas and being a part of this music culture that we that we got started in Dallas and the way he got up there and, and was mad dogging and getting mad and talking about cut that bullshit off and get, get him off stage while he performing. I felt that was disrespectful to me and, and everybody else acting like they scared to speak up about it, but I'm going to speak up about it because I ain't no hoe. I ain't got no pussy. You know what I'm saying? All that. I've been to the pen. I've been to the pen too. I did 17 years flat in the penitentiary. Can't tell me nothing about no motherfucking penitentiary. But at the same time, what I'm trying to say is, let's take this for instance. Lil Kiki in Houston. No disrespect to Lil Kiki. But say say he went and did that to Lil Kiki in Houston. What do what you think them dudes in Houston going to do to him? They going to go off. They ain't going to let that shit happen. That nigga might not make it out of Houston. So why do you feel like it was comfortable enough for you to come to Dallas and do that to one of our legends. You ain't going to go do that to Zero if Zero was on stage. You ain't going to go do that to Slim Thug if he was on stage. So what made you feel comfortable to come in my city in Dallas and do that to Big Chief? And and, and you think nobody going to stand up and speak on that? I'm going to speak on it. I don't give a care about what all them other dudes are talking about, but... I, I felt it was disrespectful. Then I seen his little interview talking about, oh, man, Dallas is one of my favorite places because that's where most of my fans at. Y'all support me. Woo -woo -woo. That's cop-out excuses to me. He just trying to keep his money good in Dallas. Point is, if you didn't want to be there, you talking about you want to hurry up and do your show and leave. If you wanted to do that, you shouldn't have never showed up. Who comes to us? You know, like I know, I done done many shows. You're going to have to wait till another artist finish performing or you're going to wait till your slot to when you go up there and it's your time to, to do your thing. And for him to make a person cut off their music and then tell the DJ to cut that shit off and get him off stage because you told him you don't want to be there and all this and that. Come on, man. You wouldn't have did that shit. I feel like he wouldn't have did that shit to little Baby or something. No offense to little Baby. But I feel like he wouldn't have did that to none of them. He just he, he just felt like it was something weak about Big Chief where he can do that. Because if I'm on stage and another rapper come up there and try to run me off stage, we're going to have some serious problems. And I'm talking about some serious problems. And I ain't, I'm ain't i not going to stand for it. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to get out there and we're going to get it like we supposed to get it. Like two gangsters. You know what I'm saying? I, we don't got to pull no guns. We ain't got to do nothing. I just letting you know I felt... A disrespect for Dallas for you doing a legend that's in our city like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no beef with you. I ain't trying to start no war with you. Now, if you want to take it there, hey, that's, hey, that's what it is. I, I, I live by that code. You know what I'm saying? I live by the code of the streets. You know what I'm saying? So on on Hoover, on Verge, nigga, on Fire Deuce, I live by the streets. But like I'm saying, man, I ain't trying to go there well with you. I'm just letting you know I felt like it was disrespect what you did in my city, man. And I said, like I said in my song, when you come to Dallas, nigga, come correct, man. Come get your money. Come do your shows. Do your features. Do what you do and go on, get up out of here, man, and do, do you. You know what I'm saying? But don't come to my city thinking everybody pussy because ain't none of us pussy, man. I'm not pussy, man. And my niggas around me ain't pussy, nigga. We bout that for real, my nigga. So don't 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 do that, man. Cause if I come to Memphis, I'm a re and I got a show in Memphis. I'm a respect the artists down there, and I'm a respect y'all movement down there. Cause I'm in y'all city. I gotta respect it, and that's the same way I feel about Dallas, man. Just respect it, man. Don't come down here with that, man. We ain't we ain't living like we ain't, we ain't trying to do that, man. We trying to keep it music. We trying to do build for the culture, stop the violence and all this. But man, we ain't, I'm not gonna stand for it. I'm not gonna stand for it. I'm, I'm gonna speak up about my city. I don't know what everybody else is going to do, but I'm going to speak up about mine. Real well, can tough. Can I throw another question in there while I got 
you know, I got y'all on film. Yes. Um, yes, yes. What projects do you have going? What Floss uh, City Records? What do y'all have going on? Oh, man, I just dropped that Ropa Lee, Ropa Lee Son album that's doing good. But I got another album on the way, too, called Free Kill. And we working on that right now. Then my boy CME Savage working on his his album. You know what I'm saying? We got Reckless Rick. He working on his album. So, man, we just staying busy, man. We forget these haters, man, and all these trolls. We staying busy, staying in the studio, steady producing good music, man, and trying to make something happen for ourselves, man, get our families out of this predicament they in. You know what I'm saying? I be reading the comments and all these trolls talking about, oh, finesse this, finesse got the money. You act like we ain't got no money or something. You act like we ain't we ain't doing nothing down here. Come on, man, stop with the games, man. Then because we ain't showing our money all on camera all the time and showing a hundred guns and all that don't mean we ain't got them. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, that, that, the trolls get to me, boy. They, they make me laugh. I laugh when I read some of these stupid comments because I know them dudes ain't built like that. And they don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Only a real gangster going to understand what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? And these dudes don't understand. But for our, so our future projects, man, we staying busy. We staying working and we grinding. That's all we doing. We grinding. We rap hustling right now. We trying to get this money, man. For real. And we ain't letting nothing stop us. Nothing coming our way. And y'all should be trying to do the same, man. You know? Real niggas do what they want. Others do what they can. And that's facts. Well, we're going to go ahead and cut this video. Is there anything last year that you want to say to everybody? No, nah, I just want to say to all the trolls, y'all don't even know what's going on, man. So mind y'all business, man. All that And your comments don't, ain't hurt nobody. So I don't give a damn what you say. But mind y'all business, man. If it ain't your business, mind your own business. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what's going on right now. And like I said, I ain't got no beef with Finesse two times. I ain't trying to start no war or nothing. Or I ain't trying to get no clout. I don't get no clout off no nether rap or nether nigga. Oh, that nigga can't help my sales or something. I'm, I've been doing sales before him. I, I'm not giving a fuck about all that. I'm just saying when you come to my city, respect the legends and the OGs in my city, my nigga, period, man. Respect any artist because we'd do the same thing if we was in Memphis, bro. We're going to respect y'all. So just respect us, bro. Respect us, man. I got the utmost respect for any man out here trying to get their money and do their thing. But you're going to have to respect us too, man, or we're going to make you respect us. That's how Dallas being and Dallas always going to be. We make niggas respect us, and that's facts. You know what I'm saying? That's on Hoover. That's on Bird. That's on Fire Deuce. For real. All right. Well, thank you again for... I thank y'all for coming out. I'm finna get blizzard. So uh, I'll holler at y'all later. Happy holidays, Flops.